viewers on this channel, but I thought I'd change it up a little bit today. Today, we are doing a makeup tutorial. So this makeup is a back to school look because it's that time of the year already. <sighs> this makeup look is also super easy and super cheap because it uses drugstore makeup and it can be worn every day because it's super light. So let's get to it, shall we? So the first thing I did was put a headband on to keep the hair from my face. So now I use the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. Yes, because they can read that from there. In the shade Fair. So I apply it under my eyes. So awkward. Oh. And I put a little bit on my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. And then I blend it with a damp beauty blender. When I'm blending, I take the excess from under my eyes and then bring it over to my eyelid so I can even out the color. Stay focused, camera. So after I finish blending that out, I will be setting it with the CoverGirl Clean Professional setting powder in the shade Translucent Fair. And when I set under my eyes, I like to take my beauty blender again and I kind of dab it, but I also rub it at the same time. So I like dab a little bit around the inner corner right there and then I kind of dab out and then I rub it out like that. When I get to the lid, I just rub like that. And then when I get to the rest of my face, I use a Real Techniques setting powder brush. And when you dip it into the powder, make sure you tap the excess off so you're not getting like a weird powdery face. And then I kind of just go around my whole face, my nose, and I just set it. And then I take my e.l.f. Beautifully Bare um, total face palette and it contains bronzer, blush, and highlighter. First we will be applying bronzer and I will be taking my Real Techniques, it's like an angled bronzer blush. And then I kind of do it under the cheekbones to kind of give my face more definition and warmth. And then when I apply bronzer, I also like to go here and kind of along my forehead and then to here too. And then after that, I will also be putting it on the sides of my nose to give it more warmth and definition as well. And then I like to take it from here to here to kind of warm it up a little bit and kind of give it a natural shadow. take my Real Techniques blush brush, I mix this blush and this blush together. So now I will be taking my highlighter and I'm pretty sure the brand was Essence, but as you can see for some reason it like wore off, but the color is Space Queen Silver Rose and it says Strobe to Glow. Put it on my top of my cheekbones like that. And then we blend it out. And then I go back to the e.l.f. palette. And then like I said, there's like a there's a highlighter right here. And what I do is I put some on my finger and I apply it to the tip of my nose and along part of the bridge because it makes the, it gives the illusion that the nose is thinner and it gives it some cute shine. And then I also like to put it on my brow bone. I will be taking my Neutrogena Force of Nature Eyes palette and I take the color 
Spirit, which is the lightest color, and it's pretty nude, and I put it all over my eyelid and on my brow bone. And then after that, I go to the e.l.f. palette, and I apply bronzer in my crease. And then, to add more definition, and to make your eyes pop a little bit more, I will be taking a plastic shader brush and mixing the colors Reason and Dare, which are the two last darkest colors, and putting them on the tip of it. And then I'll put it along my lash line, like right here, and up a little bit, kind of just put around the eye to kind of define it. And then I take this brush again, and I go back with the bronzer and blend it out. And then I don't really do much to my brows except brush them. But if you have a brow routine, you can do that if you'd like. Next, I will be taking my CoverGirl Ink It's Eyeliner. Do you see it? In the shade Charcoal Ink. So when I do my eyeliner, um, Every once in a while, I might do like a tiny little wing, but I like to keep it natural in school. So what I do is I start the outer corner and I drag it along the natural line of my lash line and I just keep going into the center. And I go until about there. And then when I go to connect it all, I start from the inner corner like right here and the in there and I bring it in and all this does is it makes your eyes look more awake and I feel like it makes the lash line look fuller and then when I finish eyeliner on both my eyes I will go in with my covergirl flourish by lash blast mascara and I use the color black whenever I do a mascara I try to keep it natural and not too much and what i really like about this mascara is it has nice ingredients so it's good for your eyelashes but it also like the way it's built it cleans it as it comes out and it's not clumpy at all and i would 100 percent recommend this product I will go back and apply highlighter from the e.l.f. palette to my brow bone. And then to finish off the look, I throw on some Burt's Bees lip balm. And then I throw on this little mauve lip gloss that I got at Ulta. <laughs> So then I put on some setting spray to make sure the makeup stays on my face. And then I take down my hairband. So here's the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is just a light, super natural look. You guys can wear it at school or just a day out. And it's super easy and cheap. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And please do request videos because I would love to hear your ideas and I would love to try them out. Thank you so much. Bye!